Kevin Jaron Jr. wants that last part too. I can see why D.A. and I think he's well on his way. Thank you for that one. And the early season power rankings of course a lot should change over the course of the year but this is where we stand now. Taking a look at the Hornets they're gaining on some of the teams above them trying hard to crack into that top five. And you know right now the Grizzlies they have just done a magnificent job of building chemistry higher on this list than many people expected one of the great stories thus far a look at the opening lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies Adams at center with Jackson next to him John Morant he's out there with Harris and it's Brooks in at the three the small forward and for Portland Justice Winslow out there with Joe Ingles then there's Yusuf Nurkic then it's Damian Lillard and it's Bledsoe in at the shooting guard and it's going to be the Trailblazers off the tip. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their game. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, what kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason? Beyond the clock. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And Bledsoe, one of the most efficient finishers in our league. For a player of his size, he is extremely polished inside. Now, here's Adams. Harris outside. Driving in. Oh, oh that oh. was something else. <laughs> oh, here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Out to the right wing. Here's Nurkic. He can't get that one to fall. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Their last game a win against the Lakers looking to carry it into this one. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. And a lot of it is moving without the ball. When you do that, things tend to open up. And so it's Ingles with it. He brings it up for Portland. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. And sometimes you have games like that, but you just got to shrug it off and move on to the next one. Here is a screen on Lillard from six away. And the Grizzlies yeah, tack on two more. Inside Brooks goes all out. Willing to fight hard to get to his shot. Yeah, selected second in 2019, Kevin. John Morant, the highest draft D in Ohio Valley Conference history. And he became the second Grizzly ever to win Rookie of the Year joining Paul Gasol. Now, here's Ingles. He points his last outing. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. And the dunk by Winslow. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over defensively. That's just poor communication. Here is Harris. Against the Lakers, he was really on his game. On the wing, Brooks back to Harris with the crossover and slam dunk by Harris. An improved playmaker who does a solid job distributing the rock. Don't sleep on this vision. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. 
How some people felt, Chris, that John Morant was an all-star snub in his rookie year. Well, you look at what he accomplished in year one. I mean, he joined Magic Johnson, great Isaiah Thomas, and Trey Young. The only 20-year-old rookies to average at least Now His agility makes beating the D look so easy. Here's Nurkic. Bunso finds Winslow. Back to Bledsoe. But Trey, good in the nicest tip from Winslow. Bledsoe's got five. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. It's got to be the mindset, especially when it's such a tight game. Yeah, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Blazers. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. They set the screen. Little passes to Dunn. To the inside. Shot clock at six. Passes to Hart. Balls knocked loose and stolen by Harris. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. The bench was ready to erupt. Instead, look at them. They're hiding their faces in their top. Down low. Rejected by Harris. And he recovers it. Eubanks. And no good. Trying to use the glass. He gets it up. Oh, and he just knocked That's him the, the buzzer beater. How about that? Uh, just a perfect finish to the half. Oh, man. As good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide open three like that. Lillard with it. Now defended by Adams. Rejected by Harris. Morant passes to Harris. Morant sets a screen for Harris. Wants to get it to Morant and does. Most contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. That's his first And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if you're wondering if Ja Morant lacks for confidence, well, look no further than his point god moniker. This kid is fearless and he's hungry. And he plays with that proverbial chip on his shoulder. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal. And Craig, you talk about the fearlessness for Morant, reminiscent of Allen Iverson, the way he throws his body all around. I mean, get knocked down, get right back up. At the same time, at 6'3", he can add strength to that frame. I know that's the goal of his as he looks to absorb contact and dish out a little of his own. Harris passes to Morant. Jackson dishes to Harris. Back to Jackson, to the wing right side. Morant with a wide open look. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. Morant's got the lead up to nine now for Memphis. Who wants a t-shirt? Looking here at some numbers for Damian Lillard. Great showing for him last season. He was around 28 points a game. Seven assists and four rebounds. And the phrase stats don't lie absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. Uh, he's oozing with confidence. I mean, and it shows. Every time he steps on the floor, he expects to dominate. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Over to the left wing. Morant against Lillard. Here is a screen on Lillard. It's Morant with the drive. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Pass to Ingles. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Brooks against Lillard. Here's Nurkic. And Adams sends it back. Adams puts every...
ball. Memphis ball. Memphis ball starts the fourth and final quarter. It's six man time. Let's hear it for your Blazers. That's a 24 second violation. Portland ball. Second personal, first team foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, and two shots.
Trailblazers foul, Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first personal, first team foul. At the line for the Grizzlies. Yeah, the game. It's, it's the, it's the Folks, we'd like to thank you for coming out and supporting your team. Please drive home safely, and we hope to see you again at the next event. Man, man, if I would have thought on Damien, man, let's go with the If it was not, uh, man, see, oh, if I didn't miss that thunk, oh. Peace out.